Greetings, gaming citizens. Mike here. It is, well, okay. You know what? I, I do these drawn out intros for these reaction videos, but you read the title. Tears of the Kingdom gameplay demonstration. Shoutouts to the, the Nintendo Roundtable podcast at PAX East this past weekend because they fucking called that there would be an announcement today. They're just like, oh, Nintendo's just going to announce a uh, Tears of the Kingdom Direct tomorrow. Look at where we are. <laughs> so, uh, shouts to all of you. Uh, Alec, make sure you pay yourself $5. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. If Link isn't in this Hello, game, everyone. I'm going to be fucking pissed. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. The game has been delayed. Development on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Thank you very much for waiting. Let's go! Yeah, baby! Many of you are looking forward to this game. Yes. We've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today. Hey, show you what it's yo. like. Okay? Let's begin. For once, he's not in front of a black screen saying, Here we are, We're sorry. The, the, the game has just been cancelled. Like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. I'm curious why this was just a pre-recorded video, not even a live stream. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. Uh, hi. You'll notice oh. some land masses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. Sky Islands, all right. Any reference to Skyloft? You're probably like wondering that's what they would do. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Let's head oh. over to it. Is that like a meteor or something? We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Okay, so there's still the stamina Here meter. I wonder how many people are going to be pissed at okay, that. Let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Oh? Oh, rewind, okay. Look, It's, it's rewind time, time, baby! This power is known as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Hmm. Since I just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the sky islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. There are a few other sky islands floating here too. So like, can we only go there with the use of um, I made it. falling rocks? There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. I was going to say, like, oh, one of the, I guess the dragons okay. make a return. Now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. Wow. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. I'm interested how the topography is going to work see many of on those the yellow trees world on the map. Surface, though. Like, do Let's they just layer the topography bit. of the Sky Island on top of, like, the overworld, or does it, like... Is it like a dynamic mini-map? There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's okay, continue. I would imagine that the weapon stamina is going to come back because, like, oh, tree branch is there. garbage. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. <laughs> oh, yep. Ah, okay, that makes a return. Broke. Not good, not good. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. Moving on. Zonai Charge. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, oh. and do this, look, we what? can stick them together. We created a makeshift hammer. This is called Fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. That's so cool, Let's take on what? construct with this fused weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. So does it still... 
Okay, so it looks like it doesn't even keep the durability of the tree for edge. Definitely improved. The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. Interesting. You can do all sorts works. of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. I like that. You can fuse two I weapons, for example. Wonder if you can fuse with a master this long sword. Stick and fuse it with I imagine that's how like the final boss is gonna go, where you have to fuse something with we the master sword. A weapon with a much longer attack range. Oh my god, that is. Busted. With this, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. Well, to the people that say I wouldn't touch you that with a ten-foot pole, well, now you can make one. In <laughs> For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. A leaf? Fuse is an ice elemental material to an arrow. And oh, is it kind of like a? Is it going to be like a blizzard? Away enemies. Oh. Well, that's cool. So you don't Very need useful. specifically shock arrows anymore. In addition, you can just like fuse them see. with chew jellies. Ah, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. Esports be like. So at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Oh, Use that's it how it. And... That's how the homing works. Look, it homed in on the target. That's cool. That actually gives Let's like. This on another bird. That gives those um, like smaller enemies like keys an actual like I'll use. I'll just fire in that general direction. They're really trying that's to make simple. every possible Depending fuse on what you stick together, uh, useful. The fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. Like enemies are more than just an obstacle now. They're kind of a convenience for I stuff like this. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. You're going to get mushroomized. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. I blocked with the shield. Oh. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemies lost sight of Link, so... Oh, that attack. would help. That would help with, like, guardians Even or something. Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to Let's do one more. Oh, so you we'll can like literally fuse a raft and together. A third log. Oh, so there's no it's need to like raft. find a raft in the this overworld anymore. That's Another really cool. Ability called Ultra Hand. Also, sorry that it's Even like buffering all the time. My laptop attached, sucks. They can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Imagine the amount of like dick sculptures that people are going to make with this. <laughs> now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Get a Korok leaf. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh! Wind! It's blowing wind. Oh, but it has Looks a like we found a fan. How do you Why charge don't we the try battery? Attaching it? Okay, so the battery charges over time. We'll attach another one. Oh, this should make the boat well balanced. That's so cool. I like this. I can see a lot of creativity going into okay, this. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. I like how when you hit it's one, pretty that fast it with the wind from the automatically fans. activates both. That's really helpful. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. What? 
Hit them again, don't waste in the battery. In the most recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. That's how these vehicles are Those made. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. That's and depending so cool. on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So, try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. That's awesome. There are even more new abilities. Take this building over here. I wonder if extending the battery okay, of these this. things is possible. Hello. Look, I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the floor above you. That there is are cool. some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. Don't if tell me. If you use the ability here, oh my God! Come on, keep going. Okay. We emerged at the top of the hill. I wonder if there's like a stamina for that. Like that sounds a little game, You had crazy. to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Okay, Here's another example. never mind. <laughs> Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Explosives. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. <laughs> Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. Ah, I got pushed off. Oh, that's Oh, well, killing. let's just return to the surface. You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. This is literally In Fortnite. In the sky, mm -hmm. you'll be able to look out across the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. All right, we're dropping tilted, boys. And we're back on the surface. I cannot wait to see the Fortnite edit. <laughs> so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave Someone's it literally going to make the battle bus day one, calling it now. What did you think? Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. He could read minds. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. I'm still curious how the subtitle That's relates all for to today. all this. Thank you for watching. That, that was interesting. I think it creates more questions than answers, but like, nonetheless, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. Like, I cannot wait. This this game is gonna be game of the year. Wait a minute. There's more of this. Hold on a second. There's a minute left. Oh, this was leaked. <laughs> Effect added. Thank you, Nintendo. I I could not tell. Yeah, that's a uh, limited edition Swoled. Knew it. That looks so good. I wish it wasn't leaked. I really do, but, like... Whatever, I guess. This looks excellent. Oh, man. I wish I had the money for this. Wait, why does that come out before... Or wait... Yeah, that comes out before the game... I bought that Pro Controller. I bought that Pro Controller. I am buying that today. <laughs> uh, well, that was the Breath of the Wild gameplay showcase. Uh, I think it was really interesting. I'm, I'm very glad 
that they haven't it, it feels like they have only shown a tiny fraction of the game so far so like i don't have a complete understanding as to how the story works or the extent of the gameplay like they showed a couple abilities but like they're very hands off with that kind of thing they really want to p- emphasize the exploration aspect of this game which i really like so uh let me know what you think about this gameplay showcase in the comments down below And with that, I will see you all in the next video.